Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trang. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you found this video. I am a budgeting mom of two and I'm currently on a journey to become debt free as well as trying to increase my savings for myself, my kids, and my lifestyle. So if you guys like what you see, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos. So today's video, we are exchanging some of my envelopes out and we're replacing them with some new ones. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have my wallet out first, so I might be doing that first. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started with my wallet. Before we start, this is a Moterm wallet. This is the Zip Around 2.0. This one is different from the first one because it actually has a zipper right here for your coins. And that's why I got the 2.0 instead of the 1. This is how the wallet comes as is. It does not come with rings or any ring mechanism at all. And this right here is a fly leaf. I'm just going to take this out. This flyleaf right here, it was actually a part of another wallet that I purchased on Amazon. I just slide it in here and it works perfectly. In here I have Starbucks, Beauty Gas, Family Fun, Costco, Spending, Eating Out. Okay, let's start with Household. Actually, I'm going to take this receipt out because I no longer need it. So I'm going to slide this back in actually and try not to hurt myself. Okay, so this is my wallet and inside my wallet, I put my bank deposit envelope because obviously I need to go to the bank and deposit money so I carry this with me okay so these are my new envelopes that I made I'm gonna look for the right ones eating out okay so I have eating out Eating out has $30. So I'm putting $30 in here. Okay, so eating out is done. I'm gonna put this on the side. And then next I have spending. Okay, for sure groceries is gonna be in here. Spending, gas. Starbucks and I think that's it for my wallet okay so for spending spending has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 205 Okay, spending is good. Gas, Starbucks. Gas is empty. And then we have Starbucks. Starbucks has, oh, this is crispy. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Enough for a venti. Maybe. All right, Starbucks is now all done. So in my wallet, I do have my groceries, spending, gas, Starbucks, and eating out, and this one as well, which is bank deposit. So these are my essentials for my wallet. Honestly, you can have whatever essentials you want. These are just my essentials and what will work best for me. So this is how I am going to keep my wallet. The wallet is all done. I am going to put that there. Okay. 
Okay, next up, I do have something new. This right here is my bills and subscription binder. So first, I'm going to put in my rent. Then I have my fiance's rent. I have water and sewage. And then for, let's see. Oh, this is trash. I'm going to do my bills first and then go on to subscriptions. So I have Spectrum. Okay, and then subscriptions, I have Amazon Prime. And then let's do Canva, P.O. Box. I have Costco membership and my Discord membership. And for my rent, I do have it in this right now so I'm going to take it out rent is currently in here it was so thick like this is how how deformed the envelope looks like now I'm going to put 1200 25 into mine 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 900 1000 1001 1002 25 So if I have just the right amount it shouldn't be as crazy and like big like that see so that's fine yeah this is completely fine and then his portion is way too much because I did do a bill condensing so that's why I have a bunch of these right here I don't want to do that but this is a lot this is a lot Okay, for now, just for now, um, I'm not going to put this in here. I don't want it to stretch out like that. So I'll keep it in here until I do my um, stuffing. Okay, and then... I have these payments that I don't have any cash on besides Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime is in here. Amazon Prime has 100, 150, 160, 61, 62, 63, 64. Amazon Prime is done. Canva, P.O. Box, Costco membership. And this currently has $10. Okay, so that's Costco membership. I have Discord and then the rent. Okay, so let's put this back. Now onto my high priority binder. Okay, so I'm going to take all of this out actually because I switch some things around. And it's just the order of my envelopes. So as you can see, I do have these in alphabetical order, so I could have easily just swapped out the ones that I'm taking out, but it kind of ruins that order for me and I'm like OCD about that, so I don't want to do that. So I just made new envelopes, perks of being 
an envelope seller. And these right here are my new ones. Same thing, it's just newer. It feels a lot better because it's brand new. Okay, first up we have birthdays. So I'm going to take out from my birthdays envelope. It has $150. So I'm putting this in just like that. Next up for Bubs, he has $30. Alright, Bubs is all done. Next up for Christmas. So for Christmas, I did deposit most of my funds into my high yield savings account. So it currently has 500, 600, 700 in my account. So it has 700, 20, 40, 60, 80. So that's Christmas. All right, Christmas is all done. Next up, emergency fund. Currently has 120, 40, $140. If you didn't know, I depleted this because of my fiance's, um, his BMW, his X5. We were starting over and we're trying to reach $1,000. All right, emergency fund is now done. Next up, I have kids' birthdays. So kids' birthday is in here. It currently has... If I can do this. 500, 600 in the bank. 620, 630. So 630 for kids' birthdays. And Zenith's birthday is in December. His birthday is December 1st. So we have quite some time to save up for that. He will be turning two. So I don't know exactly what we're doing yet. We just need to get through summer and my birthday, my fiance's birthday first, and then worry about his after. All right, kid's birthday is all done. Next up for kid's savings. This is a new one. So I don't have anything yet. Investments is new as well. Next up for savings. I do have one for savings. But it's currently empty. I took everything out to pay for some debt. So that is done as well. Next up I have student loans. This is a new one. I know that student loans are resuming payment soon. I do want to tackle my student loans. Next up for vacation. I do have one for vacation. I took everything out. So vacation currently has $500 in the bank. Why is there a toiletries back here? That's so funny. All right, this is done. This should not be back here. That's hilarious. This is not supposed to be here. I do have a couple of low priority categories and I don't want to have to use a third binder for this honestly so I, I'm just going to put this in the back of my high priority so I do have household, beauty, kids spending, eye care, date night and family fun Let's start with, let's see, family fun. Family fun has 100, 120, 140, 145. Alright, family fun is done. Next up, I have date night, but I took this envelope out and I'm re-adding this back in, so that's why it's empty. Next up, I have eye care. Eye care currently has, I believe, $15. Yeah, $5, 10 
I care is good. Next up for kids spending, this is my current kids envelope. For kids spending, it has 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 460. All right, kids spending is good to go. Next up for beauty. Beauty currently has 50, 70, 90, 95. All right, beauty is good. And then last but not least, I have household. And household currently has $20. Alright, so household is now all done. I'm just afraid that this might be a little too thick to my liking. So I might have to put it in... Yes, I might have to put it in a different binder. I'm not too sure yet. But this is my current setup now. Alright guys, so that basically wraps up my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!